Hi friends, I'm here for another video for you. Um, this is from Kathleen Sunby. Um, back in December, I reached out to her to do a swap and I received her box the day before yesterday and I um, emailed her and I told her that I would be doing um, two videos because she has sent me two journals, one of which is a Bohemian style seven gypsies journal and the other is a vintage sewing journal so I will be um, looking through those and doing two separate videos for each so let's have a look inside oh my, look at this so she sent me um, a letter which I will be going through uh, after the video. Let's see. My goodness, look at this. This is gorgeous. I love how she wrapped this. That is just gorgeous. I'm thinking this might be the, um, the vintage sewing journal, so I'll be going through that on another video. And I'm guessing this might be the Bohemian Style 7 Gypsies, which I will be going through today. And let's see, what else did she send me? Oh my, look at this. Let's unwrap it. I love her, her um, decorative packaging. I just love that, Kathleen. That is so pretty. And she wrapped this in uh, sewing paper. Oh my, look at this. This is gorgeous. I love what you did with the tag, Kathleen. It's so pretty. Oh, how nice. And I'm guessing this. Oh my goodness. Oh my, this opens up. Oh, how pretty. Oh my. Does this go out more? Oh, it does. Look at this. Okay. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. Okay. And then we have, uh, looks like a, a bingo card printout with... Um, uh, with um, a snippet collage attached to the corner. That is so pretty. Very nice. Um, by the way, um, Kathleen has her own Etsy shop and she also has her own YouTube uh, channel. I will uh, link those at the bottom so you can check her, um, her beautiful work. It's very stunning, I have to say. All her journals that have I have seen on YouTube are they're just as more beautiful as the ones she creates in the, her next video. So um, it's just stunning, very stunning work she does. So, all right, <laughs> onward. Oh goodness, let's see. What's this say? This is one of my Midori style wallpaper journals for you to create. Oh, how nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so <laughs> um, I had a uh, messenger and she was, okay, so she does um, Edith Holden journals. Every, uh, every month she does an Edith Holden journal. And uh, this month, uh, well, actually, um, for the month of May, she made a Midori style uh, Edith Holden journal, and the papers she used were just absolutely gorgeous. I just love them. So I had messenger messaged her and asked her to um, to see if she could maybe send me some of these papers, um, so I could use them for whatever you know. But um, I didn't realize she would do this for me. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this paper. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's take a look at, oh, look at this. This is a snippet she made. Isn't that gorgeous? 
gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Okay. Um, and she looks, it looks like she sent me some really old book pages too. So, let's see. Oh, yep. This is, um, the Midori style notebook I was telling you about. Um, let's see if I can open this real quick. Okay. Oh, she's got this. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So this is like the shell um, of this, the starting of a Midori. This is like the Midori style um, journal that she was doing for the May Edith Holden. Um, and this is the shell for it. So yeah, thank you so much, uh, Kathleen. I will be working on that. That that is just super awesome. Okay, so I will set that aside. And let's see what we have here. Okay. Unwrap this. Okay. Oh, her packaging is just wonderful. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This looks like it's a, um, oh, these are for the, I'm guessing these are for the Midori style, um, Edith Holden, May Edith Holden journal. These are the, I think these are, these are the papers, I believe. So, oh my goodness, look at this. I just love that, and, you know, I'm, she was saying on her, she always says on her videos that she's a very tactile person. She likes to feel things. I, I'm kind of like the same way. I like to feel the papers and touch them. So, um, this is wonderful, Tiffany. I love what you did here with this box. <laughs> oh my, look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love these, um, uh, I had also asked her to send me some, um, Battenberg doilies. So it looks like she, um, fished around and, um, gathered up some doilies to send me. This is gorgeous, Kathleen. And then I love this one here. This is like one of my favorite because I love the color purple. And, um, so th this one is beautiful. I love the lace trim on this. All these are just gorgeous. Thank you so much. I will, I will probably hoard them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I will use a, at least a couple of them that, you, uh, that you've sent me. So I, they will, they will, um, definitely, uh, go to use for this. Oh, and I just love this, this little bee dangly here. I, I love that. How neat is that? Oh, I just love that. Very pretty. And I'm just going to adjust the light here a little bit more here. Okay, here we go. There's another one. Oh, her packaging. I, I just can't get over that. <laughs> um... The, I sent her a peacock journal back in May, and when I packaged everything, it was just very basic. <laughs> so, you taught me a little lesson on that, Kathleen. I think the next time I do a swap, everything is going to be um, packaged really nice. And, because you want, you want to present it nicely, too. Which is what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, here we go. Uh, what is this? This looks like, um, I want to say this might be more lace trim, some, um, fabric. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, look at this. I love this, um, for this, the sewing, uh, ruler tape thing that you created that is very pretty that you put a couple buttons on that that is gorgeous i love all the rate the lace trims um 
the doilies and like I said I'm very tactile too so I I will probably be feeling this all day <laughs> oh my goodness look at this this looks like a piece of um of a like a, uh, of a tablecloth or um some fabric oh and this feels so nice I just I love this one here um, I love anything to do with Paris I have Paris everything <laughs> I even have a, a Paris um, pillow so I just love that I just love that kind of um, um, that design I'm hoping to go to Paris someday but I don't know if that will ever happen Okay, uh, let's see, what do we got down here? I'm guessing these are the papers to make the Midori Journal. Which I will be having fun on. Oh, and this, oh yes. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to decline that. Somebody's calling me, but I'm going to have to say nope. This wallpaper is just gorgeous um this is what she used for her cover for her may edith holden style midori midori style journal um i've always wanted to feel this and now i get a chance to this is gorgeous kathleen absolutely gorgeous i just love the feel of this wallpaper how neat is that okay and then she sent me some ledger paper, uh, some old book page with a caramelized edging on here. I just love that. How neat. Very nice. Very nice, Kathleen. And then, and then she sent me more. Some more wallpaper. And that has kind of like a... Um, a rubbery feel texture to it it's kind of I don't know it's kind of hard to explain okay I'm gonna set this aside as well okay and what do we have underneath here we have looks like a couple of book pages from a flower book that um, I will be using, maybe I'll be using for the, uh, journal. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I like these. These look like they're Tim Holtz papers, 12 by 12. I do love Tim Holtz. Um, I love all his, um, his line of, um, crafts supplies oh I like this this is very nice look at all the script on this paper Handwritten. oh this is pretty too this looks like it's a, a collage of some sort very nice very nice indeed okay I'm gonna set that aside all right and looks like there's more my goodness is there more nope I think that's it and then here's some more of her beautiful lace or um fabric packaging um tie with a little um uh, little bead at the end how pretty is that very pretty. Okay, I'm going to set all this back in the box, and then um, we will go through the um, the Bohemian Gyp Seven Gypsy Style Journal. Okay, let's set these back in here. Um, and like I said, I will be going through another video um, with the um, the vintage style sewing journal. All right, let me put this box on the floor. Okay, let's 
let's untie this. I have my phone jimmy rigged. <laughs> so I'm really hoping um, that this does not, that the phone does not fall on me while I am going through this flip through. set this down and see if I can move my chair. All right. I'm kind of like looking at the camera, so I want to make sure that it's um, on camera here. Oh, my. Oh, this is just gorgeous. I mean looking at her videos does not do any justice to what she creates <laughs> i mean it's one thing seeing it on video um and ooing and eyeing um at what she does but to actually hold this journal in your hand and i have to say um the cover of this is very, very, it's a um, kind of a leathery um, piece of fabric that she used for the cover. Um, I love all your, the ribbon um, trim on this. I am not going to go through this journal extensively. She does this, she does a much better job at what everything is. Um, I'm just going to set this journal down and ooh and ah. <laughs> if you would like an explanation of what she uses uh, for each page, you can go to her YouTube channel and look under Seven Gypsies Bohemian Style Journal. And uh, she does a much better job at uh, what each page is and uh, what color, uh, what kind of... Um, uh, paper she uses. This is mostly from the Seven Gypsies uh, kit that she used. Um, so, but I'm just going to set the journal down and just enjoy the show. Oh my, this is, this is so, this is so pretty. She, um, every journal that she, or most of every journal that she does, she um decorates this with doilies um she uses a lot of doilies in her covers and this is so pretty i hope i got this on camera it looks like i do okay all right oh this is so nice oh wow c is for collector i like that very, very nice. I love your snippets, Kathleen. I just absolutely... Of course, I like snippets, too. And it looks like you... Um, you sewed uh, some French knots in your snippet here, I see. That is so pretty. I like that. And does this... Oh, this folds out. How nice. Look at that. This looks like it's from a... Uh, Looks like it's a, it's a, something that was photocopied. Very nice. Oh my, look at this. I just like, like I just like to feel. <laughs> she was a stinking genius. <laughs> I like that. Oh, look at this trance. Lucent um, plastic here. I like that. It sets off the journal nicely. Very, very nice. Very, very pretty. She made, um, Kathleen made, I want to say six or seven of these. And the last time I looked on her Etsy shop, she had one left. 
So ladies, if you're looking at this, go to her Etsy shop. She might have one left that you could purchase from her. She does spectacular work. I, I just, I'm in awe. More of your little French knots. I, I love, I know you, I noticed that you've been doing a lot of French knots in your work, Kathleen, and it's so pretty. Actually, I like that because um, the French knots that you used for the Midori journal, I noticed you use uh, uh, like a rose uh, colored thread. And the way that you um, did your French knots, um, it looked like it at the end it looked like there was like like little roses going down it's so pretty so very pretty oh very nice i love all your fabrics you used in here i love the torn edges i love the torn and, and then she okay so with kathleen's journal she um she sews each page all the way around, and sometimes she goes around it twice. Very, very, very nice. I love your your ribbon snippets. I love this ribbon, and I love the grommets on these pages, too. I love the grommets or the eyelets that you use so pretty what's this um oh i think i don't know if i skipped a page no i guess i didn't okay how pretty very very nice very very nice i like that life is good it sure is <laughs> travels near and far in each of good junk <laughs> Yep, I think that's that quote uh, kind of uh, goes along with um, good junk journaling <laughs> for all those junk, junk journals, journal, journalers out there. Absolutely, it's a nice quote. There is one fine line between hobby and mental illness. <laughs> I love your little quotes here, Kathleen. How pretty. Oh, how nice. These are so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love this. And I believe this flips up. It sure does. Look at that. And there's like a little um, playing card that she used. Isn't that neat? Very nice. And all your scrappy work, your collage scrappy work, which I like. Very nice. Oh, look at this cute baby. I love it. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay. And... I noticed that she she did say when she was going through her journal um, that she used a lot of transfer. This is, I believe, this is a transfer that she used. So that's very nice. More of this ribbon or lace, not lace trim, but ribbon trim. You can probably stick something in here if you wanted to. <coughs> I love this paper, this collage paper here, and how it's been folded down, and then she sewed it along the uh, along the edge in here. Very, very nice. Oh, how nice. Very, very, very sweet, Kathleen. I just love it. I love all the detail in here. Create, yes, create. This is another transfer she used to. It uh, looks like a chandelier. Very nice. Oh, I love 
love your little snippy piece at the end, at the edge here. Love that. And there's another piece of plastic uh, page. That looks like it was part of the kit. I do like this. This is a viewfinder slide. Um, I think there's like a tutorial on how to make one of these. If not, I'm going to figure that out because <laughs> I'm going to be using that in one of my journals in the future. She knew with the right amount of junk she could create a masterpiece. <laughs> I love it. I like that quote a lot. <laughs> I notice I've been saving a lot of, um, not, it's not junk to me. Um, what's one man's junk is another man's treasure. So I've been saving a lot of books, um, envelopes, anything I can save for, um, for my journals because you know to buy them in bulk um, from a store whenever it is it gets pricey so um, ladies if you see something save it because you don't know 